I've been relaunched! Ha <laughs> ha! No, this is the Mad Montreal man. Borrowed Mad Montreal girl steampunk glasses. She's mad at me for that. Well, you know what you're here for. You're here for the weekend review. Yes. More comic books. Once more. Let's take a look at them. The big one this week. We're going to start off with the big one. All the hype's been about this one. Fantastic Four 600! Okay, I'm going to be spoiler because, frankly, this is one thing I... For those of you who remember, uh, not too long ago, they killed off Johnny Storm. And what was I saying a comment of? I said a comment that, well, people in comic books don't really ever stay dead. I must admit, I, I agree with Ty Templeton. Uh, I'm sort of buddies with Ty Templeton on, on Facebook, sort of. I'm one of many. And he basically made a comment saying, no one saw this happening so soon, but yes, we called it. Look who's back! It's Johnny Storm! <gasps> Predictable! Alright. We'll continue with the Marvels for now. Captain America and Bucky. Kind of a nice cover. Interesting inside. Sort of like a story of the Winter Soldier, Cold Soldier Warriors. Alpha Flight, which is now a miniseries again. Eh, alright. It's Alpha Flight. You ain't got to buy because you're Canadian, right? Annihilators. Don't ask me. I really don't know. Another nice cover this week. The inside was horrid. Continuing the Avengers Secret Origins. Uh, big letdown from Marvel this week. Secret Avengers. Uh, the artwork was... I felt like I was looking at a DC book. It was a bit rushed. It felt a bit rough in some places. Avengers Solo! Bye-bye, no-no! Alright, one of the few books that Marvel's been doing that's been very consistent with the art, good storytelling. I must admit, I do like the Thor series. Or Mighty Tenaris. Uh, but, like I said, you know, oh, looky, he's not really gone next month. Okay, best ultimate this week, and probably one of the best reads. I enjoy it a lot. I think everybody does. Get this! Need I say more? Uh, from, of course, people who know Jeff Smith for Bone. He's been doing a series called Rassel. It's an interesting read. Uh, it's not as cute as the Bone series. Nice black and white independent. It's one of those ones I recommend, but if you're going to pick it up, start from the beginning. If you just jump into it now, you'll be going, I don't know what's going on. So, of course, now we get back to the wonderful DC 52s. There's a survey online saying how many of them are you still picking up. I'm still picking up all of them. Uh, part of it's guilt for trying to get these reviews done. Part of it is, how can I put it, a desperate hope that things will get better or that they'll be smart and go, oh, let's fix back Flashpoint and change things back again. All right, I do love Batman, however. The White Rabbit... No comment. Uh, well drawn, interesting story. I do like Aquaman. And many of you will not agree with this, but this is my cover of the week. I think it's one of the most interesting covers I've seen this week. I like it. It's also a good read, but I really do like the all Western cover. That's the best cover of the week, folks. I like the fact it's something different, it's a change of perspective. Slightly spaghetti Western ish. I like it. Cover of the week. Good read. I've been enjoying it. Blackhawks. The artwork's not exactly the greatest, but I do like the read. Fury of Firestorm. I'm not furious. The Flash, consistent artwork. It's okay. It's a good. It's a regular read. Okay. A mini series. I like the cover. Almost cover of the week. Diablo. Beautiful artwork on the cover. The inside is all right. It's an interesting story. You know, very kind of, there's a few panels that are kind of wishy-washy, but it actually is a, a good read, good miniseries. That's one thing they're doing good at DC right now. Their miniseries have been really interesting. Green Lantern and the New Guardians. Like I said before, it's a very consistent storyline. Okay, you're here for a shocker. I finally read number three of I, Vampire. And for the first time, the story actually wasn't that bad, and the artwork has stabilized a little bit. Uh, for, I mean, for the artwork, um, it's actually more stable. It doesn't feel as rushed. It has a nice look to it now. The first two issues I was not a big fan of. This one's improved a bit. Oh, please cancel. 
shade, interesting. Now this one you can't say the artwork's bad. It's it's a good consistent artwork. I'm still not happy about the the relaunching of Superman's history. It's kind of like oh we're gonna do the same marketing again over and over again. But it was a nice artwork book. Worst DC of the week. <laughs> oh man. Oh! <laughs> oh look, it's another new Titan. Oh yay! Um, this is starting to get borderline. I mean. It's borderline hawk and dove right now. And for those of you who know what I'm talking about, Mad Montreal girl's starting to like laugh because she knows exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. What I'm enjoying, actually I'm enjoying the Hawkman series. It's not your typical artwork, but I like the fact that Hawkman has got a bit of an attitude. And just to show you a panel, the artwork is different, but it kind of grows on you. So that's a thumb up. All right, consistent artwork. I'm still wondering what they were thinking of, but Voodoo number three. Yes, for all the 15-year-old boys out there that DC thinks have money that they're trying to get attentions to, you know, need I say more? But just a reminder, we know the reality of the comic book industry is 15-year-old boys don't spend money on comic books as much as us old, weird comic book junkies do. So that's it for the comics this week. There's one thing I want to mention this week that I actually think is normally cool. You've seen me talk about some of the little knick-knacky toys that Aaron gets in. I started buying these because I saw them and I went, those are actually fun looking. The Living Dead Dolls. I bought two packs today. They just came in. I actually got two of these ones. One of the rare ones. I'm trying to get Pumpkin Man. And this perfect one would be a perfect gift for someone who's a Harlequin fan. These I do recommend because if not... I'm going to be buying these. I like these. These are fun. I like all the stuff like the unicorn ones and the smoothies and whatever. Uh, they also got some new gremlin characters in. Disturbing, but they're there. Keep in mind, folks, Christmas is around the corner. And, you know, just to show you how bad it is, Aaron's gone this week. He had to win a trip to be gone. He couldn't afford to leave for a vacation. That's bad. So you have to go there, buy comic books, buy toys. Because, really... Where else are you going to buy your comic books? Okay, RX Comics, Mad Montreal, man. See you next week.